Hello, welcome to Someday Farm for today's Tai Chi Chuan tip. I'm Stephen Watson. Thanks for joining us. And while I'm at it, thank you for subscribing. Thanks for thinking of who might benefit from these and sending them a link with a personal note saying, I think this is up your alley and this would serve you. Please uh, take a moment. Obviously, thanks for the financial support and for the comments and likes and so forth. Uh, today's Tai Chi Chuan tip is to practice with something fragile, and I just have this um, cloisonne ceramic sphere to practice with. And I'm more likely here gonna practice in the manner of Tai Chi Chuan than doing a particular form. So I'm paying attention to my consciousness, my breath, my presence, my Lu um, Bafa, as it were, uh, the principles. And I'm just moving in a Tai Chi manner and what I'd like to do is start to recognize that the, the tensions that come into my being are likely to be different working with something fragile than they are when I am practicing in a peer group or when I'm practicing under the uh, keen supervision of my teacher or when I'm practicing you know, in a tournament, for example. Um, these tensions are likely to be different. Like I'm afraid of breaking this. I'm afraid of damaging it. I'm afraid of dropping it. And so paying attention to what the locus of those concerns are, how those tensions manifest, where they manifest in my being, and noting that they're very likely to be different than ordinary tensions that I have when my arthritis is acting up or when I'm tired or I'm pressed for time or when I'm working on a new move, or as I said, when my teacher's watching me. So see if uh, practicing with something fragile can be uh, instructive for you in terms of tensions in the body or the, the psyche, the emotions and so forth. And remember to uh, cradle the fragile and help it be what it is. Remember to hold the fragile and hold it to a higher standard and help it be what it can be. Thank you, love. Thank you very much for the tips. They really helped me uh, stay in business and stay alive. Uh, this last one, I'll show you ways to get in touch with me on my link tree. So appreciate all the support and shares. Thank you.